Let's start things off tonight with a celebration. It's known as Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead, and it's the holiday where family and friends gather to pay respects, celebrate and remember dead loved ones. Our Sean Delmoniz is sharing how East Texans took part in the holiday. El Dia de los Muertos is a celebration. For Caldwell Arts Academy student Jackson Sims, this one's personal. So my grandpa and grandma, they were um, both of them passed away a few years ago. He remembers them with his art. He drew a portrait of his grandparents and made this. These amazing creatures, these monarch butterflies make the journey down to Mexico and they represent um, the dead coming back to see their families. Callie Campbell is celebrating her grandpa too. We get on stage and we have so much fun. They got on stage, they ate conchas, and they sang their hearts out. Organizer Juliana Wynn says about 300 people came through Caldwell Auditorium. The holiday is amplified this year because it's taking place as COVID-19 deaths skyrocket. COVID has devastated the Latino community in Texas. That's Celia Garcia with the League of United Latin American Citizens. The CDC reports Latino Americans are more than twice as likely to die from COVID-19 than white Americans. Instead of focusing on death, Dia de los Muertos represents an optimism for the future. This is an ofrenda or offering where you'll find pictures of lost loved ones from the community. Tonight, Sims encourages you not to mourn these lives lost. This whole celebration is really a celebration of life. We've got you covered East Texas. Sean Delmoniz, CBS 19. Pew Research Center reports about half of Latino Americans know a family member or a close friend who's been hospitalized or died from COVID-19.